hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix lags stutter and improve your fps and performance in ninja gaiden 4 dropped recently this video will be covering all of the best windows and game settings so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, once you're on your PC, step number one is heading over to your settings. And over here, come down to personalization, head over to colors, and then you're gonna have to disable transparency effects. This will disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent to help you optimize the performance. Next, head over to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, a disabling game bar will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Then head over to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you get extra FPS. Then click on the graphic settings underneath and then you wanna have to enable optimizations for windowed games. Click on advanced graphic settings and then enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Both of these options turned on will help you to utilize your graphic card and reduce your unwanted input latency. Then click on on add desktop app button over here and then you have to go to the download location of your game once you find your game folder open it up and select the ninja gaiden 4 steam.exe click on the add button and then you have to scroll down to find it select the game and then click on the gpu preference select high performance over here and once that's done you gonna have to come down to windows update click on advanced option and then you wanna have to disable delivery optimizations over here simply turn this thing off as this might be running in the background utilizing your cpu resources next step head over to the download location of your game and then do the compatibility settings for this you're gonna have to right click on your game go over to its properties click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations then click on change high dpi settings and select this option over here click on ok and apply and this will help you to get rid of unwanted input delay this will also help you to fix unwanted black screen issues and game crashing issues as well before moving ahead i want to introduce you guys to okx which is a trusted cryptocurrency exchange platform to buy or sell between multiple cryptocurrencies safely and hassle-free if you guys are a beginner or pro okx has a very user-friendly onboarding which makes all of it easy for everyone currently they are running a 10 percent march on usdg and a 25 dollar reward when you get started okx is partnered with teams like manchester and McLaren Formula 1 and banks like Standard Chartered and many more so you know how big the platform is and your money is safe. Simply go to the link in the description below and register on OKX today and start with your cryptocurrency journey. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy on your PC, open it up and then see over here double click on computer configuration, administrator templates, windows components and then app privacy. Over here look for let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure this policy is set to enable. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on apply and then ok and simply close it. This will disallow applications running in the background helping you to save your system's resources. Next step is creating a restore point and with that simply search for create a restore point and then you will have to come down and select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it ninja gaiden 4 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that's done, simply close and close system properties. Next step is Ninja Gaiden FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can go over there and download this FPS for free. You'll find in 5 very simple folders over here which are really essential to optimize the performance of your PC. First one is CPU Priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU Priority. Both of these folders will help you to optimize the performance of your processor by setting up the correct DWORD value. So if you have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU Priority. And if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply that one. Second is RAM Optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. Helps you to set up the correct DWORD value for optimizing the performance of your RAM. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this one. Could be different for you, so you can apply it according to your system. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can reset it back to default. Third folder over here is actually very simple, which is Ninja Gaiden 4 Priority, in which I have left above normal, high priority, and normal priority. I'd recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments, so you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is Disable Unwanted Services, in which I have left all of these services, which are absolutely useless, but they still run in the background to interrupt the priority of your applications and reduce your FPS. What you have to do is is simply double click and disable every single one of them except if you use any bluetooth or printer services and once again if you want to revert any of them back again head over to the revert registries folder and you can turn them back on last folder over here is programs in which i have left healed temporary files you're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator once it opens up it will ask you to clean all temporary files off of your pc simply press enter and this will delete all of your temporary files i'd highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then and once that's done simply close it 
Next is MSI mode utility 3.0 simply right click and then under administrator. Once it opens up find your graphic card in this list click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority set this thing to high. Click on the apply button and simply close it and this will help you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card to optimize its performance. Once that's done you can simply close the FPS back. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here click on adjust for best performance. Then you have to enable animations in the taskbars, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. You can also enable show window contents while dragging. Only these five options should be turned on and this will help you to disable all unwanted animations on your PC which will help you to optimize the performance of your game. Next step is setting up your virtual memory which is actually under the advanced tab in the same setting. Head over to the change button in virtual memory and deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Then select your local disk C and click on the custom size. Set the initial size to 1024 or 1361. Both of those values are absolutely fine. Then for the maximum size, you're gonna have to go for half of your RAM. So I have 32 GB RAM, so I have to divide this thing by two and 16 GB is gonna be half of it. Simply multiply it with 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Set this value over here, click on set, click on OK and once that's done, it will help you to utilize virtual memory while you're playing the game. So if your game needs a little bit of headroom and your memory is completely utilized, it will help you to do that. Next step is forcing your game to re-render the shader cache. And for that, you have to search for disk cleanup on your PC, open it up, select your local disk C, click on OK and then you want to have to select a DirectX shader cache, delivery optimization files and temporary files. Make sure all of these are selected because I have recently cleaned this. It is showing a very small amount over here but i guarantee you that if you might be playing multiple games your shader cache might be filled up and simply cleaning it up and selecting delete files will help you to clean these shader files which will force your game to re-render and recompile all of the shaders once again and this will fix any kind of bug issues that might be causing any of these fps related issues once all of that is done simply close that then you can drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your settings head over to options and then go down to graphics. Over here, make sure that your display mode is set to windowed full screen and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution. You can set the frame rate limit all the way up to the highest according to your monitor and vertical sync should be turned off. So if you guys have an NVIDIA graphic card, go with DLSS enabled or else you guys can use FSR on performance over here. You can go for prioritize performance or balance as both of them works fine. For the graphic preset, set your dynamic resolution to disabled. For motion blur, keep it off. Ambient occlusion, I would highly recommend you guys to keep it disable. Reflection quality, you guys can go with the disable. Shadow quality, go with medium. Texture quality, high. Volumetric fog, anything related to volumetric should automatically go down because this impacts your FPS dramatically. Also, wind effects can be turned off as you do not need all of those effects to sway of hair or other objects as it is just another load on your GPU. Once all of that is done, press your backspace and now you guys can drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button because you are really close to 250,000 subscribers. And I would definitely appreciate you guys if you hit that sub button and also join the channel membership if you guys want to be a part of something big and support the channel. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.